Yeah, nobody lives here. And then it's the What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Goose, come here. Hi, bud. We got our doggy Goose, as you guys know. He has just been so much fun. He was just out in the pond, it looks like. He's all soaking wet. Uh, I'm about to wake Maverick up from his nap. Actually, I honestly don't think he's sleeping. He went down for quiet time today. And uh, so let's go see if he's awake. Hi, bud. What you doing? Oh, You're playing? Did you get some new books? Yeah, yeah you did get some new books. Okay, you want to go help daddy? Yeah. We got to go pick up some stuff. You want to come? Okay. That we were not expecting. This is Maverick's new favorite book. Ooh. Maverick, show everybody. Show everybody. Ooh. Maverick got a new toy airplane. And then he got this tractor book that he just absolutely loves. We had some uh, corn dogs and burritos for some lunch. Was it good? Yeah. Do you want to go show everybody your quail? So we got the quail and we actually just got back from the store picking up the uh, brooder that we're going to be making. We're just using a tote like we did last time. I know the last one burned. We have a heat plate instead of a heat lamp. So we shouldn't have those same issues. But what is it? Chicks! Quail. Quail chicks? Look how tiny they are, you guys. They're so tiny. So the ones that have hatched, uh, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if we're gonna have any more hatch. I think we have 10. Uh, they're ready to go into the brooder. So we're gonna go, let's get that set up for them so that we can move them out of here into the brooder. So here we go. One quail brooder. I bought some spray paint for another project. We don't need that for this. So we'll obviously get wood chips. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a quick little DIY brooder that uh, should work great for what we got. You know, just a couple of quail. We have their bigger cage already ready. Look what else I did. Look at this temporary uh, keep Zan out fix. So we had so much issues with Zan getting back here. And a lot of you guys commented, hey, you need to fence that in. So we actually are going to be fencing our main property, like our backyard area, all back here uh, within the next month. Probably, I mean, this month. Um, but until then, I just threw up a couple pieces of scrap wood here to keep Zan out. And it has been a thousand times better, not having to deal with him coming on the back porch and all of that. Now, he's got his own shelters. He's got his other barns, like... He has a place to get out of the weather. I know a lot of people are like, he's just trying to get out of the rain. Guys, he has like a million places he can get out of the rain. He just chooses the back door. So he doesn't do that anymore. Thank goodness, because it has just been awful. So I think we're going to need, we're going to do this a little bit different. Uh, like I said, I've got the heat plate, but I also want to um, put the lid on this so that nothing can get into it and that it just it'll just stay so much better if we do that so i've got some of this fencing from our old project i think we're going to cut a hole in the top of the um Yay! box put some wire on it i don't know how we're going to attach the wire yet we're gonna have to think about that one and then uh we should be good Guys, there's a lot of frogs. I can hear the bullfrogs out, which means the weather is nice. Yeah, this will be perfect. We'll just take this. I think we'll cut maybe this section out and put wire over it. That'll be golden. You guys are going to see this in the background, which it's, uh, this is the four wheeler we got from the walkers. This is going to be in a video here very soon. Let's just say we ran into some stuff we weren't expecting and it's taking a little bit longer than we thought. So stay tuned for that if you guys want to see uh, how excited Maverick is about that and uh, the stuff that we're having to do to get that to work again. Maverick, are you excited? Yeah, we'll fix it. Yeah, fix it. What is it? Four-wheeler. Four -wheeler. First, I'm going to try the Sawzall. See if that will cut through this good. Yeah, this will be perfect. 
Perfectly made. So we are going to keep this brooder out here on the back porch. Um, cause, because it's close to power and uh, I can keep a close eye on them. We want to make sure that I can obviously keep a close eye on them. So we're going to keep it in here. And we'll just run the power to it. That way the power will be out of the sun, out of the uh, weather, out of the rain. So will the quail. And uh, we'll, we should be able to keep a close eye on them. And we shouldn't have any more issues because look what we have. We have got another chicken brooder. Not chicken brooder. Another heat plate. So actually looking at this. I honestly don't know if this is going to fit in here. This one, I might have to go switch. I might have to go put this one in the chicken coop and grab the one that's in the chicken coop and put it in here. Uh, I think the chicks that are in the chicken coop are pretty dang close to not having to need a heat lamp anymore. Uh, so I'll check that. But let's see if this will fit anyhow. Will it fit? It's going to take up the whole thing if it does. Come on. Come on. Hey, that actually works. That is way too big, y'all. They won't even be able to get out of the heat if they want to. All right, well, switcheroo. We're going to go put this one in the chicken coop. Grab the one that's in the chicken coop because it's half the size and put it in here. Okay, I went around the yard. Got their feeder. I need a mason jar for that. Got the heat lamp out of there. This one's way better size. And the wood chips. So we're going to throw all that in there. I do not know if I have a waterer. We broke one, and I don't know if I ever bought another one. So I might have to get another waterer, which is fine. We can just use a temporary, um, like a temporary one for right now, just a bowl. Okay. Oh, you want to help? Okay, get some. Throw it in there. Good job. Yeah, mash it. Smash it. Get out of here. I didn't close the door. Yeah. Look, I just found a jar in there. Let's get some feed. What do you say? What's this for? Say quail. What what is it? Do you know what this is? Quail food? I think the biggest thing left to do is to figure out what the heck I'm gonna how in the heck I'm going to attach this wire to the top of this lid. I don't know. Maybe I just use zip ties. Zip tied on a couple of places. We do need water still. But look at this, y'all. Boom. I'll stick their water in there. Put the net over the top. This is seriously turning out better than I thought it was. I got an idea. I think this is going to work. If it works, this is game changer. This is going to be amazing. I could get the right tools out to do this, but we're just going to sawzall it. Oh, yeah. The screw's a little long, eh? But I think it'll work. Look at that. That is going to be just golden. Ta-da! You know, if I was smart... I would have done this the opposite way so that that is what you saw on top and not on the bottom hmm I think we're gonna swap it so if you guys ever do this put the board and the metal on the underside so when this locks down you have a perfectly smooth clean surface that nothing can get into doesn't that look so much better y'all one two three Wow so when I started this project didn't really know what it was going to turn into so i gotta say i am thoroughly surprised and happily surprised i think it turned out great this is pretty much the unbreakable trio y'all oh, yes. zan goose and dutton they are like the three stooches they all just play with each other the horse will grab the goat the goat will grab the dog the grab will, the dog will grab the goat the, i mean look at it <laughs> and they just all play around <laughs> and then there's Maverick. Okay, come on, Bubba. Maverick, come on. Let's go get the chicks. Let's go get the chicks. Come on, Goose. This is going to be perfect. Okay, come on, bud. Oh Y'all, I'm so excited for this. Right here, bud. 
Okay. I don't think, honestly, we've had anything hatch today. I don't think we're going to have any more hatch. We'll let the incubator go tonight just to give them a little bit more time, but I think we've pretty much hatched them all. I don't have a way to hold the camera, so I'm going to grab and put them in the box, and then I'll show you. Maverick, how many did we get? A the box. Okay, you hold the box. Daddy will help you, okay? All right, let's go. Okay, guys, this is uh, pretty nerve-wracking. Good thing he's a big boy. Be soft, be gentle, okay? Look at all the little tiny, tiny babies. Yeah, cute. Yeah, cute. Are we gonna go put them in their new house? Okay, go slow. Go slow. Watch the step. I'm so nervous, but he's doing so good. Okay, okay, set him on the ground. Put him on the ground. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got ten! Two hands like this. Like this. Okay. Don't squeeze it, you gotta be soft. You did it! I like it. Oh, for this one. Be soft. That's one. The white one? Okay, hold it. Good, you be soft, huh? Well, they're definitely figuring out where the heat lamp is. Let's put the box right there. Well, all I can say is I'm glad I put this lid like I did because I thought it was keep, you know, goose out of it, but I think it's gonna be keeping Maverick out of it. That's gonna be most important. No, we're gonna lead them. We can watch them, but we can't touch them. Do you see them hiding? Whoa, he's in the back. So here it is, y'all. I just put like a disc, like it's a lid, and that's going to be the temporary water till I go get one. And I, when Marcy gets home, I'll go and get one. But that'll be it for temporary. They are loving it, and they are so stinking cute. So like you guys saw from the title and thumbnail, we had EMS show up at our house this morning. I was actually at work, and I got a call from Marcy saying, hey, do you have any idea what's going on? There's police fire truck, ambulance, all outside of our door. And it kind of freaked me out, honestly. I did not know what to think, so I was asking her a million questions. And uh, she was like, I'm gonna go talk to him real quick. I hung up with her, tried calling her neighbor, uh, cause he usually is in the know. And I didn't get him, he didn't answer. So I was a little bit concerned there too, wondering if something happened with them or what was going on. And so I told Marcy to just go talk to them, see what's going on, see if she could figure out and uh, we'll show you guys what happened. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on. The boys are crying, but we have a sheriff, an ambulance, a fire truck, all outside our front house. And I'm not really sure what's going on. Excuse me, Matt. I'm not really sure what the deal is or what they're doing. I'm gonna go ask him what the problem is. Good, how are you? Good. Sorry, I'm scared you. We had a sort of an accident between here and down there. So we're just sitting there checking tree line, making sure they ain't nothing. Okay. Has that always been damaged right through there? Yeah, we took it out with okay. the skid steer. Okay. Let's make sure it wasn't the car that took it out. Okay, did you find the car? No, we have not. Oh. Okay. Well, um, yeah, nobody lives here, and then it's the b by the next house, so. Okay. We haven't seen anything or even heard of anything this morning, so. Thank you. Alright. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We've had the sheriff come by. He came and stopped and talked to us again, wondering if we had seen anything going on. So we don't really know what the heck is going on. Basically, they said that they got a report of somebody that came and drove and that there was a bad accident. That's why they had the ambulance, the um, fire trucks, the police. Did you see the fire truck? No. What did the fire truck say? Yeah, what other truck was there? The police? 
They were right there. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to keep an eye on things. I kind of went and walked around the property to see if I could find anything, and I couldn't. So we don't really know what's going on. They're kind of like, what the heck is going on? They said, just keep, a, keep an eye out on things. Um, basically, they said the wreck was between us and our neighbor's house, which is, oh, I don't know, an eighth of a mile the distance between us. And uh, nobody knows what's happened. So we will keep you guys updated with anything fire that comes truck. of that. Fire truck. Yeah, the fire truck, huh? Over there. Yeah, right over there. But... To say it's crazy Flat is an understatement. We cannot believe. I mean, we live kind of in the middle of nowhere, so it's a weird Flat coincidence truck. phenomenon that this happened right a next to our truck. house or, you know, within a, a quarter mile of our house here and then a nothing was found. Truck. So hopefully nothing comes of it or hopefully truck. if there is something, it's nothing too a bad. But we will keep you guys updated on that.